Hello, I'm Rick Fitzgerald, the Project Manager at Materials Research Furnaces. Today we'll be going over our vacuum suction casting with our arc melt model ABJ338. The 338, with its sleek and simple design, yet durable construction, is easy to use and understand. Its small footprint and many options make it a perfect fit for laboratories and universities worldwide. Our operator will start by making a button in one of the selected hearts. The hearts can have custom cavities tailored to customers' needs. The operator begins by placing the material into the hearth, then securing the chamber and preparing the atmosphere for the melt. This typically takes about three to five minutes. Once the atmosphere preparations are complete, the operator then strikes an arc with the tungsten electrode. Once the arc has been established, the operator moves the electrode around, taking care that all the material melts completely and mixes into one molten button. This may take some practice, but most catch on quickly. After the button has cooled, the hearth is changed out and replaced with the casting mold. Place the newly melted button in the casting mold and repeat the atmosphere preparations as in the previous melt. Once you have achieved a homogeneous blend, simply open the suction casting valve and the molten materials draw into the mold cavity, resulting in a finished sample ready for testing. On behalf of Materials Research Furnaces and myself, thank you for viewing our video, and please check out our website at mrf-furnaces.com.